All right, what's going on, everyone? Mike O back doing another live reveal. So I appreciate all those who participate and watch live, and of course, all those who click on it later and watch the archive. Your comments down below, thumbs up, subscription to the channel if you enjoy it would all be appreciated. One of those things sometimes I mention, sometimes I don't. So we got a few people in the room here right now. We got Big Smooth, what's going on? He's giving a shout out to our buddy Ed, who definitely won't see this for days or weeks, certainly not live at 9 a.m. Uh, Jay Pylon, what's going on? So got a bunch of stuff. It's 59 total cards, so not a humongous order, but you know, 59 cards to get through, and it is a true mix, as always. Uh, always have mixes, especially in these SGC submissions. Literally right in front of me, I see Star Wars, I see vintage baseball, pre-war baseball, hockey, maybe some basketball, I can't remember. Definitely at least one football card. Um, a bunch of cool stuff. So it, it's a fun order, a little bit of everything for everyone what's up ttm mike what's up creighton how you doing hopefully you're doing well all right so what's up nina so nina's here so's mike either way we're gonna roll through this in the next 25 minutes so i'll show off uh i'll just get started so first card is gonna be for dustin bellinger and this is a 1950 a 1923 w572 bill southworth Received an authentic for minimum size not met. And I know um, from talking to Dustin, that is what he was expecting. Just an authentic. But really cool card there for Dustin Bellinger. And Lee, who is out in San Diego, it is bright and early for him. He has one card in this submission as well. And it is a 2022 Topps Tribute Manny Machado. Stamp of Approval Relic Card, green, numbered 1 of 99. Manny Machado having a really good year, received an SGC 9. So the thicker cards can obviously be a little, little more difficult. And especially when they have pieces of relics, you got the extra little cuts and such. So really nice card there for his San Diego Padres collection. All right, we got some cards here for Nina. We'll show them off. Nina has a 1952 Bowman Gil Hodges, received an SGC3. So nice three, beautiful color, love the background. I mean, just check out like the old school stadium. Very, very cool card there in a three. Fantastic. And then a 1950 Bowman, Bruce Edwards. Again, cool background, good imagery, nice color. Maybe not quite as sharp in terms of the uh, image as the Hodges, but really, really nice overall. And that received a four, so some nice corner and edges and just overall great looking cards. And then last three cards for Nina. She's taking a page out of Big Scott's book and doing some Star Wars 2021 Topps Chrome Star Wars Galaxy Luke Skywalker Refractor received a mint nine. And the camera won't do these justice. These look exceptional in person. They look great in the SGC holders. This one maybe looks a little better on camera. 2021 Topps Chrome Star Wars Galaxy Luke's Ground Assault Refractor SGC9. Great looking card. Third and final Star Wars card for Nina is a 2021 Topps Chrome Rites of Passage Star Wars Galaxy Refractor. Received a Gem Mint 10. So sweet, sweet cards there. If you're a fan of Star Wars, that's not it. What's up, James G.? Thanks for popping in live. 11, 12 in the room. Three thumbs up. All right. TTM Mike I know is here. We'll show his next. All right. We've got Dave Schultz. 2004-5 Upper Deck Legendary Signatures. Dave Schultz autographed. Received an SGC 9.5. 
and a 10 on the auto grade. What's up, Charlie Davis? Slide some of this stuff over, give a little more room to take a look at these cards. All right, another Flyers auto for TTM Mike. 2006-7 Parkhurst, Reggie Leach autograph. Man, the hockey autographs always look great. The blue signature with the white ice background just makes those pop. Received a dual 10, a 10 on the card, 10 on the auto. So very sweet, Reggie Leach. Sports Illustrated for Kids, 1994. Hakeem Olajuwon received a six. These are always tough cards, obviously perforated and hand kind of, not cut, but pulled apart. Always subject, especially for how young the one who did it, always subject it to uh, possible tears and such, but they're really cool. I uh, enjoy picking some of those up for the collection from time to time as well. 2022 Donruss UFC, Amanda Nunes, Octagon Marvels, Hollow Orange Laser, received a Gem Mint 10, so a Gem 10. Check out TTM Mike's channel, I know he'll show these off again, check him out again, give him some support. 2022 Bowman Chrome Prospects, Julio Rodriguez, very uh, rich individual after that new contract, a 9.5 Mint Plus, but hell of a rookie season there for Julio. And final card for Mike is a 1979 Topps Rushing Leaders featuring two guys who are fairly good. Walter Payton, Earl Campbell. A little more than fairly good. Eight and a half. So an eight and a half. So that's a very cool card there. Two all-time great Hall of Famers who both led the league in rushing yards that year. Man, look how few guys had a 1,000 yards. Then again, I guess it's getting to that point again now because it's become such a pass-heavy league. But for a while, it was like 30 guys were going crazy. But man, that is a cool, cool card. So congrats on that one, TTM Mike. All right, three more groups to show. Let's show Big Smooth. He uh, he had a couple rejections as he usually does. Um, Scott's got a rejection and I got a couple. So... SGC uh, did not grade your Viagra card. And they actually give reasons now. SGC does not grade. At least that's what they say. So that was denied. Other stuff we got here. We got a 2019 Top Trumps Limited Editions Kylie Jenner. Celebrities. Nine Mint. So mint nine on the Kylie Jenner. Got a 2016 decision, 2016 Vladimir Putin influencers. Gem mint ten. So a gem ten on the Vladimir Putin. Got a 1985 Seven Eleven Slurpee Rush Rockstar Discs. Received a mint nine. Mint 9 on that. Get a 1993 Cards the Muppets. Air Beaker. Gem Mint 10. So a Gem 10 on the Air Beaker. Two thousand eight Top Trump's Star Wars. Tano from the Clone Wars received a Gem Mint 10. Smooth is a uh, expert on the oddball rookie cards. 2008 Top Trump's Star Wars Cad Bane Clone Wars 9.5 Mint Plus. The Clown is back. 1983-84 play Ronald McDonald, eight and a half near mint to mint plus. Eight and a half on the Ronald McDonald. 
which I know one of those moved at the uh, at the National. It was a big hit at the uh, trade nights at the National. 2014, Top Trump's Breaking Bad, Gustavo Fring from the card game, Mint 9. Mint 9 on the Gus Fring. Star of Breaking Bad and, of course, Better Call Saul. Got a 1991 Premier Rap Pack, Kid Rock, Gem Mint 10. A Gem 10 on the Kid Rock. Which I can only assume is a rookie. All right, got a cannot do not grade. So not an SGC doesn't grade. A cannot did not grade. Do not grade on the uh, what's her name, the J.K. Rowling. So that one was denied. And we've got the 1985 Rosa Parks Life Magazine Remembers. It can be hard to show off just because of the size of the slab. But Mint 9 on the Rosa Parks. It's a pretty cool card. And then Nicki Minaj received a Gem Mint 10. SGC 10 on the Nicki Minaj. So that's the order there for Big Smooth. All right, so we got my cards. And we got Big Scott 35. I'll save mine for last. A lot of sweet stuff in there. So a lot of sweet stuff in everyone's. All right, so Big Scott had this 2015 Top Star Wars Tuscan Raider artwork card. Uh, they say too large for holder. Now, pretty sure I got some cards graded with uh, at similar. Maybe this one's a little thicker, but they did not grade that one. So we can always try it again. Um, maybe they're just out of big holders. Who knows? But that was because it was too large. All right, so Scott's got a mix of everything. He's got some baseball, Batman, Star Wars, hockey. So it might kind of go back and forth. I didn't sort them out. All right, 2021-22, Upper Deck, Sidney Crosby, Portraits, Gem Mint 10. Nineteen sixty six Tops Batman, Sinister Smile, received a... SGC3. Nineteen sixty six tops Batman Fiery Encounter. A three. You got the penguin and Robin there in an SGC three. Alright, two thousand twenty two tops living Stephen Kwan rookie for the Cleveland Guardians Gem Mint Ten SGC Gem Ten on the Kwan. Nineteen seventy nine tops comics Ron Lafleur in a two. Monty, once you get over it. Believe me, you'll be happy. Believe me, years ago, granted, I, I kind of got out of it, out of that mindset, like probably like three, four years ago. Opens up avenues. You can buy so many cards, sometimes at better prices for CSG, SGC. Grading them is great. So teach their own. I understand a lot of people in that mindset and some people do the registries and some people just like to have everything the same. I don't need to have that, but I mean, SGC is my favorite right now. CSG has improved vastly and I'm enjoying that. And you know, I like PSA and I like buying PSA cards and I have a lot of PSA graded slabs, a lot. And for sure, at some point I'll submit some more stuff in the future, but Man, monopolies aren't always the best way to go. But just picking up some stuff or doing a small submission, you can enjoy the experience. All right, 1979 Tops Comics, George Brett. 
in an SGC 2. So a 2 on the George Brett. These are pretty cool. I think Scott is doing the, uh, the entire set. Larry Hissel in a 2. Got a, another 66 tops Batman, the Riddler, in a one and a half. Yeah, their slabs look good. The tag slabs look good, but I mean, it's going to be a while. They have a long, long way to uh, kind of prove themselves and such. I know they've been uh, talking about it for a lot, but at some point you need some serious action. What's up, bobbles and ball cards? 2021 Top Star Wars Julie Doolin Bounty Hunters Autograph Mint 9 Auto 10 2021 Top Star Wars Bounty Hunters Sketch Card Authentic A little signature action there Nineteen sixty six tops the Batman face of the Joker SGC three nineteen sixty six tops Batman rooftop vigil four. That's a cool card there. 2021-22 Upper Deck Alexis Lafriere Canvas Black 9.5 Mint Plus A 9.5 Mint Plus on the 2019 Star Wars Living Ahsoka Tano Might have butchered that 8.5 on the Julio Rodriguez 2022 Tops Living Set Rookie Beautiful looking card Little rough here, 2022 tops game within the game. O'Neill Cruz only received a seven. Um, when I looked it over, I did notice his black mark down there, so that's got to be what did it, because otherwise the card looks nice. Game within the game cards are really, really nice. 2021 tops Pete Alonzo game within the game, eight and a half. And final card for Scott is a 2022 Tops game within the game. Bobby Witt Jr. Gem 10. This is a cool looking card. I'm going to have to pick one of them up. I haven't bought any of the game within the games in a long while. I mean, I got the Harper a couple years ago. Um, this year's, I think I intended on ordering a few, and I just never did it. All right, we'll get to my stuff. So I had two uh, cards that were denied. This sweet... Uh, Richie Ashburn stamp. I'll probably try CSG. I don't think they'll grade it either. Um, and then after that, it'll just have to go into a holder for the collection. But SGC does not grade. Just thought it would look cool in the slab. One of those, I didn't really care what it graded. And then I know PSA has graded these in the past. The uh, 1978-79 pen emblems. There's a bunch of Pete Roses on eBay. Um, but they said they didn't grade them again. Just thought it would be cool to have an example in a uh, holder. Didn't really care what it graded for. And there's some stuff in here that I did not care whatsoever what it graded for and some stuff I did care. So I sent a – this is basically a batch of Aaron Judges that are mostly going to be put up for sale, even though they're cool and I'd like to have them. I mean, he's obviously having a otherworldly year. And then I have uh, vintage stuff for the collection. So 2020 Tops Archives, Aaron Judge Snapshots. This is 2020. That is absolutely mislabeled. So I'll have to send that back. Damn. This is a 2017. Anyway, 10-10, 2017 Aaron Judge. So mislabeled. That's a good thing about doing a reveal. You see it. Hey, everyone mislabels stuff. Um, I don't get it too often from SGC, but I have gotten it before. So they'll fix that. But yeah, that is a Judge Rookie. It's not labeled Rookie card, but it is a Rookie. All right, 2017 Tops Chrome Aaron Judge Rookie Autograph Mint 9 and a 10 on the auto. It's basically what I expected. Of course, I was hoping, you know, hoping against hope you get the 9.5, but it deserved a 9. It got a 9. And then I have the Blue Refractor 
numbered 45 of 150 from 2017 tops chrome rookie auto nine mint 10 on the auto again same thing uh generally speaking one of these i can't remember offhand i mean i sent these in one of these it might have been this one had some white on a corner the other one had some slight surface issues and the surface issues if you're sitting there looking like that of course you can see them but otherwise like in a holder like you're never going to see them. Um, they're not going to stand out whatsoever. But, of course, you know, it is what it is. Um, they deserve to be docked for that. But those are the types of issues with cards that aren't, like, the biggest of deal, in my opinion. 2017 Topps Chrome Update. Definitely happy with a 9.5 on this. It was on a, one of those I figured... Uh, would bounce between a nine nine and a half not quite gem mint but 2017 tops chrome update aaron judge rookie debut red refractor serial numbered seven of 25 so sweet card one of those that obviously be cool to keep but i'll probably pop that up on ebay at a very very lofty price so we'll see if it moves or not or how much interest it gets but that's a that's a cool card for sure All right, this is uh, sweet. This is the one that I thought had the best chance to get a 10, and it did. 2017 Bowman's Best, Aaron Judge. Best of 2017 Autograph, Gold Refractor, numbered 48 of 50, 10 10 on that. So that's sweet. I actually turned down a deal at the National for the group of judges. Um, could have had some cash in hand, but turned it down. I did trade one of my judges, I traded a green refractor. And that green refractor I turned into this Ted Williams. The green probably would have graded a 9 as well. Um, this is a 1948-49 Leaf Gum. Ted Williams, 1.5. Beautiful card. I mean, it looks amazing. I knew it wasn't going to get more than a 1.5. That's what I expected. I actually sent this one in for... Um, or I did this at the show just to make sure it was authentic and good. Uh, at the National, I did the pre-grade. Um, it's got the stamp on the back. But, like, you can read everything there. The back outside of that looks clean. And, I mean, again, okay, there's some rounded corners. But, like, the color's outstanding. I saw so many ones and twos in the past that I was looking at for the collection that were just for the price and the look. I didn't think were great. This one I'm... Couldn't be happier with, so amazing addition to the collection. And like I said in some recent videos, this is a card I picked up at the National. I did get the pre-grade. Sent it out. It was back in about a week. I mean, SGC. As a collector, taking out the flip, having this in and out for a week to 10 days, whatever it was, I think it was closer to a week, and back reintroduced in the collection, I mean, come on. That or a year and a half. I just, I don't even see how that's a debatable point. Like, but everyone's going to have their opinions. So I'll keep it at that. Here's another one. I did the pre-grade again. I was hoping for a one and a half when I did it, but I was happy with a one. Hell, I would have been happy with, uh, with an authentic. It's an 1888 Allen and Ginter. Jim Fogarty and the world champions. It's a poor one. It's awesome. The back's got some miscolor to it, but whatever. The backs of these are basically just a checklist. This is a card I've been chasing for a few years, so I'm very, very happy to have it. One of the early Philly cards in the collection, so that's pretty darn amazing. And then the rest of the order, got a 2022 Topps Living Kyle Schwerber. So I grade one of every Philly's Living Set card. Honestly, I thought this one... I don't remember what, I think this was the best one I saw, but I kind of figured, I, I think this one was pretty good, but it has some specs. The backs of these are always kind of crappy. I thought there was a chance it might only get like a 9.5, but it got a 10, and I'm thrilled, so that's awesome. Living set cards look amazing in an SGC holder. They look cool in PSA and, SG, and CSG as well, but they look amazing in an SGC. And there are some cards, like 71 tops, I don't love in SGC holders. This one's for the PC. I just love Playoff Momentum. 2021 Panini Chronicles. Mac Jones rookie. Playoff Momentum. Received a 9.5. Got a 
Got the acetate action. This one, I again, I didn't expect the 10. I just kind of sent it because I wanted one of those holdered up. 1933 Tattoo Orbit R308 Charles Fullis received a 1. Again, didn't expect any more than that. Was fine with an authentic. Got a 1 on the 1951 Fisher's Bread Labels. Jim Constanti. Amazingly difficult cards, or not even cards, but items to uh, come across. Obviously didn't expect. I mean, I think it looks great. I'm fine with the 1. Um, obviously, it's going to be little surface wrinkles. I mean, they're freaking paper-thin bread labels, but uh, would have been fine with Authentic. And then the final card is a 1921 Exhibit Cy Williams received Authentic, minimum size not met. Again, this was just like an unexpected pickup at the National where I got a little group of Philly stuff uh, at a really reasonable price and perfectly fine with it. Cy Williams, one of the uh, prolific power hitters of his time, so... Very, very cool. And that is it. That is the SGC 59 card submission. Appreciate everyone who watched live. A lot of activity, a lot of comments. Sorry I couldn't respond to all of them. I do have to uh, get on my way somewhere. So going to cut it off. But comment down below. And even if you watched live, if you guys wouldn't mind popping into the video afterwards and posting a comment, I'd appreciate the, uh, the support. All right. Thanks. And I will be reaching out to everyone who's involved. Um, in the next day, have a great one. See ya.